Data helps you understand what's working with your marketing and what isn't. Marketing is an iterative process, which means that your efforts may not be super dialed in at the start. As you roll out new campaigns, you can very quickly parse out who your customers are and what they like about your products or services. And over time, you can achieve a stronger product market fit. The first step in this process is collecting data, which can be done at several stages of the customer lifecycle. This includes the marketplaces you promote in, on your website, and through your CRM. The next step is to analyze your data. The key here is to uncover trends that can help you make more informed decisions. Analysts may look at a source of customers, geography, seasonality, category, and other buyer characteristics to find these kinds of insights. A dashboard can help you see the bigger picture of how all these trends are related. The last step in this process is actually using the insights you've uncovered. Each time you make a new data-informed decision, you then have more data to analyze. After a few iterations of this analysis, decision, analysis loop, you'll have a very detailed understanding of how your solutions are resonating with customers. Here's a real life example. We recently signed a client in the home decor space who was struggling with low sales volume. Our initial solution was to build a website and implement a new marketing strategy for marketplaces like Google, Facebook, and Amazon. We use data collected from tools like Google Analytics and the client CRM to drive decisions for each individual campaign and marketplace, which led to a powerful insight. Their larger quantity orders were almost exclusively from restaurant owners. Think it's a good idea to hone in on this audience? Just think about it. The same marketing budget can lead to much higher revenue. Now that you know the three steps in using data to drive your marketing strategy, and have seen firsthand how it can have a huge impact on ROI, what are some ways you would implement this approach in your marketing?